Hello and welcome back to another video. We actually have a couple of great videos coming up about the history of the web. And you might be asking again, come on, let's get to coding. But this is really important because we need to understand what problems we had in the past and how we found solutions to those problems and where we are at now. We need to understand what this whole thing of being a web developer means and what problems we're solving and what we did in the past and what we do today. So today we're going to talk about Tim Berners-Lee, the person who invented the World Wide Web in 1989. And I have a picture of him right here. And we're going to talk about him because he's the first web developer. And in order to explain that concept, we need to make a distinction between the internet and the World Wide Web. I have this website that I'll share in the links uh, below. It's really, really good if you kind of want to get a history lesson. But essentially, the internet started off with the ARPANET in 1969, basically a military project, and it was more of a test. It connected a few universities such as Utah, UCLA, and throughout the 70s, the 80s, it kept growing. But there was one problem that they had, and that was essentially for the academics, they needed a way to share documents. And up until the World Wide Web existed, the internet was there, but it was really, really hard for computers to communicate with each other, to share academic papers between each other. Most of the time, each computer had their own way of doing things. You can think of this as languages. So it's kind of like communicating with people from different countries and a language that you don't know. Yeah, sure, you can make it work, but it's very, very difficult. So that was the problem. And Tim Berners-Lee, what he did, and he was working at CERN at the time, he actually created the World Wide Web. And what the World Wide Web is, it's the www that we see whenever we type in google.com over here, is essentially a common language that computers can speak with the World Wide Web saying, hey, from now on, everybody, if we want to communicate together, if we want to share images, or if you want to share files, let's just have this agreed upon language, agreed upon protocol in order to share these documents together. So that's what it is. The servers, the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the browsers all work on top of the World Wide Web. So you can think of it as the internet is your phone and the World Wide Web is Instagram that runs on your phone. So it's essentially a decentralized application. Now, how is Tim Berners-Lee the first web developer? He actually created the first browser and the first server. And later on, we're actually gonna talk about what he did with the files over here as well, but he created the very, very first server and web browser, but also the first website. And they actually still have a copy of it. This is the very first website ever. And it's from 1991, and this is what it looked like. He created this ability for people to communicate and link to other documents so that we have this growing knowledge base of the world. In the next lesson, we're going to be talking about the history of these files, what they mean, what problem they solved, and how they came to be. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.